hello to all the parents of children in badges. It's Mrs. Miller here. I'm sorry we can't be together in, in, in person tonight to catch up with each other. I know that many of us know each other from being around school, from being parents, or because I've taught your children before. But if we've not met yet, I look forward to meeting you soon. And if you have any questions or want to talk to me about anything, please drop me a line via the badges at wintoncp.cheshire.sch.uk email and I'll get back to you or give you a ring or, or catch up with you at the gate if you need to talk to me about anything. So I'm just going to talk you through what um, a day is like in badges. We have a daily English and maths lesson every day um, and we have guided reading every day. When we come into the classroom in the morning, we do some silent reading. Uh, I might listen to some readers. We discuss books, recommend them to each other, talk about vocabulary, which characters uh, we like and what we're enjoying. Uh, we also do some specific guided reading lessons, which I'll talk to you more about later on. We um, teach spelling and talk about spelling rules throughout the week. Um, and on Tuesday mornings, it's the only uh, day of the week that's a little bit different. The children have Miss Bogman Rowe for RE, then they have their multiflex session, and then after that, they have Miss Brailsford before lunch for French. Um, I have a P lesson with the children on a Monday afternoon, and obviously they have multiflex on a Tuesday morning, and children can come into school in their P kits on a Monday and Tuesday, and then on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, wear their normal uniform. I will set homework um, every Friday on Google Classroom for it to be submitted online by um, the following Friday. Now we have a topic-based cross-curricular link uh, themes that run all the way through our um, subjects at Wincham. So for this half term, for example, our topic is what did the Romans do for us? And so everything links up. Our text is about a volcano, about Pompeii. So we can link back to the Roman times, which links with our history, our geography about how they were for, uh, volcanoes were formed. Our science is about rocks. We, our art um, has been linked today, for example, to the volcanoes we'll do some design and technology where we'll uh, make things from the roman times uh, and everything's weaved together so sometimes uh, the work that we do in geography and history will come in really nicely for our writing and what we learn from our text will um, then come through in our science or our geography and it's, it's all linked together and it works really well um english uh, writing we write every day um, for English and we also try to write across the curriculum to make sure that writing in science and history and geography is as well written as and as important the children see it's as important uh, as they're writing in the English book in terms of their content their presentation handwriting punctuation and grammar um, every Friday we celebrate writing by having a writer of the week um, and in this class in particular, we're pushing for greater depth writing, which is really uh, thinking about language, thinking about characters and the perspective and pushing our writing to be um, as deep and as well developed as we can. Um, the slide there, if you want to pause it, gives you an idea of what you're looking for by the end of year three. But the main thing is using subordinate, so make subordinate clauses, adverbs, prepositions to really try to lengthen our sentences um, and develop the amount of detail. We'll also look at putting speech into our writing um, and some non-fiction um, elements. And in year four... Um, we build on that. We're particularly looking at securing fronted adverbials with a comma, a little bit more detailed grammar, and particularly organising paragraphing, becoming more confident with cohesion, linking your paragraphs together, um, using the right noun phrases for characters instead of just repeating he, 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 um, and really developing um, the, the, the writing with these features ready for um, year five and year six, where they'll learn a lot. Uh, more um, features and grammar um, and techniques to put into their writing. So we want to be secure in all this before we send them on the way to Upper Key Stage 2. Uh, we use um, a spelling scheme called No Nonsense, which builds on uh, the previous year's spellings and the year three, four words. So we look at those regularly and we secure those spellings and practice them and try to get them in our writing. And children will be set spelling practice for homework uh, via Spelling Shed few examples there of how we might do them. We might write a word with some pictures on or do a spelling pyramid or do a quick write just to practice each week in our spelling book. Um, we do we, we encourage the children to read for pleasure. We encourage the children to talk about books. I put golden tickets in books. If they find a golden ticket, they might get a reading pencil or a little prize. 
Um, and then we're also looking at fluency, enjoying reading, but also the key skills um, to do with understanding and comprehension. And we do this through reading in our English lessons, through guided reading and really encouraging the children to read for pleasure at home as well. Um, there's an example there of what we've been looking at. We call it Vipers. Um, and we talk to the children about this and all these features of a uh, guided of reading uh, to help them comprehend, uh, to pick out why words are being used, what's happening, why the author's chosen these things. And we really work with the children to understand that reading is not just English reading, but comprehending any sort of written material is really important. So the children will become familiar with uh, looking at vocabulary and inference, making predictions, explaining, retrieving and summarising texts. Uh, obviously, you'll know that we have book club and we encourage that. The quizzes particularly are really good with Vipers questions and we'll reward the children with reading certificates um, and we'll monitor um, their progress on book club as an extra to reading a book and getting their reading diary signed at home. Um, there's a slide there just for you to have a look at about what is expected um, by the end of year three. Um, and also there you go by the end of year four in terms of reading and you can see those viper skills really built, being built on explaining a text uh, talking about giving evidence from the text to back up ideas skimming and scanning to find the key information and these are features that the children become more and more confident with and again take up and continue to work on in year five and year six um, now, maths, we um, have a variety of inputs for our maths. At the moment, we start the year working on place value, and then we tend to work um, in a very similar pattern each year, moving on to addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. And um, so we've started on place value. We're looking at partitioning numbers, understanding and splitting up numbers, what co the columns mean. We use lots of different equipment, counters, base 10 equipment. We draw, we make the numbers, we discuss. And really in this class, try to reason and understand and explain numbers um, and what's, what's happening in our calculations. Um, you can see there the year four expectations. Um, and uh, with the with the mixed class again it's the reasoning it's the depth as well as um, understanding the the techniques and the calculation methods it's really understanding the depth of what is happening when we work with numbers and um, the big thing that we have as a school is timetable rock stars and your children have been given um their login to timetable rock stars um, they can play on the garage. It's really, really good. There's, there's no pressure, even though there's a timer. Um, it, it runs an algorithm, so it picks up the, the timetables that your children are good at, and then it keeps repeating questions that they need working more on. Uh, you can see there that by the end of year two, children are expected to know their two, fives, and tens. In year three, we will introduce the three, fours, and eights. And then by the end of year four, children are expected to be confident up to their 12 times tables. Um, and there is um, a multiplication skills test um, at the end of year four that the children will do um, just to see how they're, they're getting on with that. And times table rock stars uh, on top to do at home on top of all the practice we do in class is really good. They can earn coins, which means they can change the avatar and buy things for their avatar. And they can come up with their own name. They can have class competitions, competitions between them and other pupils as well. So it's a great way of engaging with it at home and ultimately learning the times tables, which is what we're looking for by the end of year four. Um, homework um, is set. So it's, it's set on Google Classroom Friday to Friday. What we're looking at is to read as often as possible for pleasure. The children at this age can be reading to themselves or reading aloud to an adult, signing um, the reading diary. Um, if you look back at the Viper slide, you could look at asking some of those questions about the book. Um, we love discussing language. So, for example, we found dis dystrophy. So we've been talking, we've been talking about that. Um, and sharing these words. Um, times table rock stars to be completed as often as possible. That will come in a lot um, when we get to that area in maths, but the children do have their logins and I've asked them to log on this weekend just so they can that we know it works for them and they can access it at home. Uh, they'll have either maths or English on Google Classroom to be completed ideally on Google Classroom. Um, it can be written on a piece of paper and a photograph can be taken and uploaded. 
um, and also spelling. They'll have spelling shed where we'll be looking at learning the year three and four words um, and also other words. So this week I've set some works which are linked with our um, class text so we can practice those words so that we, when we're writing we can spell them um, correctly. Uh, just a few other things that we mention every year. We work um, really hard every half term. We do some work on no outsiders. Um, linked with the Equality Act and British values. So we, where we take um, themes at um, an age-appropriate, child-appropriate level and discuss them and have some really, um, really interesting, open discussions with the children uh, that everyone is welcome in our school. And we emphasise that nobody is the same, um, but everybody is equal. And we do that every half term to develop the resilience in children, to make them be proud of who they are, but we also celebrate diversity um, and to create, as it says, that positive school ethos where everyone feels they can belong. Um, you'll be familiar, I hope, with Class Dojo. You'll see lots of dojos being put on already and you've been sent the link to that so the children will be rewarded frequently with Class Dojos for um, great work. Um, and hopefully you can have access, uh, you've had access to that, please let me know if you've got any problems with that. Um, and there's a slide uh, from school that we've got all got on our um, presentations um, about the pupil premium funding and free school meals. And please sign up for that if you're entitled to, it's really important that you do. Um, the school, um, school Spider app that's got some information about school and timetabling. And just to finish, we have some websites there um, that you might want to look at if the children come home and have to write um, subordinate clauses and you want to have a look what a subordinate clause is. There's a school run um, website. There's hit the button, which is an alternative. Um, you've got some free sessions on that to timetable rock stars. And also there's a few ideas of good reads for year three and year four. Um, as I said at the start of the presentation, if you have any questions, please let me know. It's funny times at the moment as we've gone back to our um, COVID timetable, but the children adapted really well to it this morning. Um, and in the same breath, it was really lovely to see them all playing together outside um, like, like we used to um, at the start of term. So we'll keep you updated. I've got the, the, school, the class email. If you need anything, please get in touch. I would always rather um, know whatever it is. Um, just get in touch with me as soon as you can um, and I will get back to you. I can phone you or an email or just catch you at the gate. And other than that, I hope that I get to meet you all soon um, and thank you for watching. Okay, goodbye.